everybody, it's me, Shadia Wade, uh, back with BP Vlogs. Um, I kind of use BP for bipolar, so if you haven't figured that out yet, um, now you know what BP stands for. Um, but, you know, this channel really isn't just about bipolar disorder, it, it it's centered around my disorder, my understanding of it, um, but the the things that I talk about can be applied to any disorder, any mental disorder, or any life situation, so don't feel that just because you don't suffer from bipolar disorder that this message doesn't hold some truth for you, or um, someone you know. Um, I've had plenty of people um, talk to me and come through uh, comments or messaging who have benefited from my videos and have kind of sought out my advice and I've given it to them and, and you know, I, I give it to them to the best of my abilities of what I would do in their situation and um, whatever their background is. But this channel for me, was a means of therapy. Um, I wanted people to have a voice of what it's like to deal with a disorder, um, first of all, whether it's um, bipolar disorder or not. So I started this vlog channel uh, because I wanted people to be more informed. Like, when I started it, it was... Um, when I had run out of medication, obviously, and um, was trying to figure out what was going to happen and how I was going to solve the problem. And uh, you hear me talk about that in, in the series of uh, videos that I have on this playlist. Um, but to me, this is my life exposed for all the viewers that I have, which I have had over 194 viewers, so I'm very thankful that, that people have taken the time to watch these videos, or at least pop in and, and see what this is about, um, and, and I, I highly encourage that, I don't, like, I became partners with YouTube just recently, not to have a source of income, but so that I could speak longer, <laughs> so that my situations could uh, be relayed to other people, so that they might know and understand their situations a little bit better. It wasn't to gain money. I've made no money. Zero. Big fat zero. So don't think I'm getting anything out of this, other than just the fact that people are watching and people are learning and experiencing and I'm able to help. Um, that is the sole purpose of this. Um, any income that I would get from YouTube, I, I plan to donate it to a charity called Charity Water, uh, which goes out and builds wells in third world countries. Um, and, like, that's what I plan to do. So don't think the money is going into my pocket, because I'm not doing it for the money, I'm, I'm doing it to give out a message, and that's how it started, and that's how it will continue to be. Um, my son goes back to school on Wednesday, the 21st, and, you know, I, it... I feel like I'm going to go through the same thing I went through on the first day of school, and it's going to be like that on the 26th when he starts regular classes. Um, just because uh, being a parent and having your child go to school for the very first time is, is nerve-wracking, and it, it, it's an ongoing process, and until your child feels comfortable with going to school, you are not going to feel comfortable with them going to school. So, um, I, I've already got that fear in my mind that, oh, someone's going to say something, hurt him, do whatever, and, and I, I've got to brush those thoughts to the side because 
that's, that's just, just a part of life, and, um, I can't continue to waste my time focusing on the negative. What I want to focus on is all the positive stuff. Like, my kid's going to be learning some stuff. He's going to be learning how to write and how to read and how to do math, and all those things are exciting and new, and, and I hope that he enjoys them or excels at them or both. Um, I want him to explore the world and, and, and see what's out there and what wonderful things the, that there are to behold in the world. Um, granted, there is evil, but there's also a lot of good. And, you know, you as my viewers, um, or even people who just are popping in, um, might think that there's not any good at, at some junctures, but I look at it this way. I have a roof over my head, and it belongs to me. I have a means of transit. I have a steady income. I have a beautiful, intelligent child. I have a loving husband, a supportive family that's understanding and continues to support me through whatever decision I make in life, and countless other blessings. And I think if you really um, sit down and reflect on your life, you sh there's so many things to be thankful for. Yeah, my dad passed away when I was 20, and um, inshallah, you know, he's in heaven right now, and I will see him again, but, you know, I don't know if he was the, if he atoned for his sins or, or not before he died, it was, there was a lot of stuff. But I believe that God is merciful and forgiving and he's in heaven. And some people might disagree with me. You know, they might say, well, he was a horrible man because of the things he did in his life. And he, why would he ever be forgiven? And I, I would think that that's wrong because God is a jealous God, but not a vengeful God. Um, I think he's very, very compassionate and very merciful and wants to bestow us with his blessing. And um, I think that everybody ha has something to be thankful for, whether it's just the clothes on your back. You know, you could literally have nothing but if you're able to watch these videos, you've got a lot. You, you've got access to a computer. You've got um, some place that you consider home or a shelter. You've got other people going through the same trials in life. So don't ever think that you are, aren't blessed. There, there are many things to be thankful for. The number... It may vary from person to person, but everybody is blessed in some way. Whether you believe it's by God or, or some other divinity, or you don't believe in anything other than your own uh, pursuit, that, that you are the one who, who got the clothes, it doesn't matter. Everyone has something to be thankful for in their lives and is worth something. Now let me step aside from that and, and, and go a little bit into this channel some more. This channel is not just about bipolar disorder. It happens to talk about it a lot because that's the disorder that I have and so it's the disorder that I relate to a lot. But People who suffer from MDD, ADHD, OCD, whatever, 
can benefit from this channel because what it is is that we tackle the things that are challenging in our lives. Like, to me, the fact that I don't sleep when I'm not medicated is a challenge. Sometimes I don't sleep even when I am medicated because my anxiety is just that strong and my body and my mind are just awake and reeling and I, it's like a fight or flight sensation. There's adrenaline pumping. Um, for people with depression, you know, you have your lows and your highs and you know, um, with MDD, you kind of go from being level to down to level again. Um, whereas when you're bipolar, you have extreme lows and extreme highs. Um, people who suffer from OCD, uh, they have a compulsion. Uh, I suffer from that when I'm manic. Like, I have a compulsion to check all the locks in my house. I'll sit there and, and check all the locks. And then I'll check on my kid and my husband and then go back to checking the locks and it's a routine. And so I, I understand that and, and, and I'm familiar with that. And with ADHD or ADD, you know, finding ways to focus. God, it's so hard to find ways to focus. You know, it's like, how can I concentrate on one thing when there's so much going on in my mind? you know, and so much going on around me, how can I concentrate? Um, you know, finding solutions to that. This channel is really about you. I'm just the, the host. Uh, the, the person who happens to be talking about solutions. And this channel is for you. And it started out as a means of therapy for me, but it has really become about you, the viewer, and how you feel. So really, if you think about it, YouTube should be paying all of you viewers <laughs> for watching, I think, but... Uh, and the leg, you know, here we are, just talking. And I don't really have a whole lot to say today because my anxiety has been within reason and I've been able to sleep and take care of my kid and communicate with some of my brothers and sisters in Islam and spend some time with my husband who's really stressed out and God love him. I, I hope things get better for him. And, like, I pray for him all the time. I really, really hope that this channel does something for each and every one of you. Because that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about you. Even though I initially started it out as a means of therapy for me and letting people know what bipolar disorder was and how it acts and how it feels. and it, It's not about that anymore. It's become about helping you guys to, to see your issues. Uh, the last, the last um, person to writer talked to me um, was one of my brothers in, in Islam and he posed to me a question about um, dealing with obsessive compulsive disorder and you know inshallah I hope I gave him the right advice and, and, and he found it helpful or useful as a tool 
Um, I won't go into what we talked about because that's rather personal because of his original religious beliefs and I, I don't really feel like dispelling him or, or uh, excuse me, uh, that's not the right word, divulging too much about him outside of the fact that he is a Muslim and um, he needed some help and that he has OCD. But I also, um, you know, get pats on the back and stuff about what I'm doing. And that's nice. But I don't feel like it's me doing it. I feel like it's something greater than me that that you all are, are doing it and making this channel into what it is. And I'm, I'm so thankful for all of you. Each viewer I'm thankful for. Each subscriber I'm thankful for. And any person who shares this I'm thankful for. Because... Everybody needs a voice of reason, and everyone needs some insight to a situation that they're going through. Um, like I've talked about on this channel, my relationship with my husband before we got married, and all the trials that I went through and he went through, and how we got to the point where we are today. And I've talked about what it was like to go off my medication, and it wasn't planned. Oof, it was not planned. Um, when we moved to this house that we live in now, the one we own, uh, my address changed. And I filled out the change of address stuff, but uh, apparently it didn't go through, and my medication got sent back to the pharmacy, and blah, 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 blah. And if you've watched the first two videos of this series, you know exactly what went on and um, how that went. And it, it was scary. Uh, I was really sad and upset all the time. And I thought, my, like, someone had taken the rug out from under me and I had fallen through and was in this pit of despair. But, you know... Talking about it helped. Talking about the experience helped. And eventually, um, I went in and, and was able to get seen by uh, my doctor and get a small prescription of medication and, you know, and to sustain me until my medication came in from the pharmacy. So that was good. You know, I was very fortunate there, and I'm very lucky. Otherwise, I would have gone to the emergency room because it was it was getting really intense, and I, I didn't I didn't like where it was going, and um, hence why there's such a big break in between videos. Um, because I I needed that. I needed to take a break and really get back into the routine of my medicine and. Uh, the routine of my family and school and stuff, and it was just really hard, so I had to take a break. But we all take breaks in life, whether it's from school or work or both or family, all of the above or what have you. We all have to take a break and step outside of ourselves for a minute to just reflect on what's going on. And you can be perfectly normal, meaning... You don't have a mental disorder, you know, you have support, you're perfectly healthy in every other way, and and still, you know, you have to take a break, because we are only human, we can only take so much, but where do you turn to, like, what do you do when you need a break? Um, me, I, I like to go out into the wilderness, like the woods, to escape uh, and just reflect on the beauty of the world, like, that we live in. 
Like, when I lived in California, I used to go to the beach. I used to go to the ocean. Because the sound of the waves breaking was so... It was serenity for me. It was tranquility. And now, going into the woods and, and listening to the trees and uh, hiking trails, that's beauty to me. Seeing the world, not for the chaos, but for its beauty, is, is my way of escaping. So, I don't know. If you have something that you find helpful when you need to take a break, leave it in the comment section. Maybe the next viewer can have some insight from you. This is my insight. I go out of my comfort zone, which is my house, and leave the city, leave the suburbs, leave whatever, and just go out into nature and uh, find my salvation there, my, my solitude, my tranquility, my serenity there. But for other people, it might be different, so leave it in the comments so that you can help others, too. Um, because I, I promise you, oh, this is my son. Say hi, Lonzo. Come on. Just say hi. Hi, Daddy. This is, this is YouTube. Say hi. Hi. All right. Now go on. Go on. I gotta finish. Yeah. Okay. Go play. Sorry about that. He's got his hair all in his face. You can't see who he is anymore, but, um, that was my son. He's five. Um, but leave it in the comments what you do to take a break. Um, when I can't go out into the woods or, or to the beach, I escape through music. And usually it's classical music. I don't know why. Classical music just does it for me. But leave it in the, the comments um, what it is that you do when you need to take a break. When you, when you need a refresher or whatever you want to call it. Um, because you never know. The person who watches this video next uh, might benefit from it. Um, feel free to comment, share, like, do whatever, subscribe. But um, this channel is for you. And like it says it's about me. <laughs> <laughs> in the descriptions about following me on my journey through battling with bipolar disorder, but I don't think that's true anymore. I think it's it's bigger than that, and it has become bigger than that because of you. And uh, I'm kind of just like this beacon for some people, or what have you, and a voice for some people that are just too afraid to speak but leave your comments I welcome comments promise I'm good about comments I respond all the time and uh, please thumbs up like this video subscribe to continue to get my insight on life and uh, get updates about what I'm going through if you care um, but I will be sharing uh, what's going on uh, with me or with other people because I feel that it's important. So please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.